let's use linearization or linear approximation for sine of x at zero in order to approximate what sine of 0 0.06 is. So I may not be able to think at all of what sine of 0 0.06 is in my head, but I can use the fact that I know what sine of zero is to figure out what it would be. So plugging into our linear approximation formula, the first piece that we find is plugging in f of a, which in this case is zero. We're gonna take sine of zero, and sine of zero is just zero. So we have our f of a. Our next step is to plug into the derivative, that value for a as well. So we're gonna take f prime of x, and we're gonna plug in at a equals zero. So the derivative of sine is cosine. And so we're gonna do f prime of zero and take cosine of zero. Another familiar thing off the unit circle, f prime of zero is one. And then our third step is to write that into an equation. So our L of x is gonna be what we got for f of a, which was zero, plus f prime of a, which is one, times x minus, and don't forget to put an a here as well, x minus our a is zero. So normally it is totally fine to just leave it in that form. This one, it might make sense to simplify it or multiply things out. Zero plus one times zero minus one times zero. This is all just gonna simplify to be one X. So this will approximate for any X value near zero. So we are asked to take this linearization, one X to approximate sine of 0.6. So f of 0 0.06 will be approximately the same thing as l of 0 0.06, which for this is going to be 1 times 0 0.06. So our approximation is 0 0.06. If you have a calculator, you can grab it and make sure that your linear approximation is close to the value. You can also plug into the percent error formula given in the initial explanation about linear approximation, but that is a pretty good answer for what sine of 0 0.06 is.